The Switch eShop is home to over 70 free games, and it's so hard to know what ones are actually worth the space on your system. There are some real stinkers out there, and unfortunately, some really good games that just don't run well on the Switch. We're looking at you, Apex. So we've done the hard work for you and created a list of 10 of our favorites, so you never have to spend another cent. But before we start, you know what else is free? Those like and subscribe buttons. We're gonna kick things off with possibly the best one here. If you could only choose one game to try from this list, then definitely make it Brawlhalla. Now, Super Smash Bros. is fantastic and should probably be among the first games you buy on any Nintendo console. But it's a full $60 title. And Brawlhalla, well, it's free. And basically the same. This platform fighter even comes with its fair share of crossovers. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Adventure Time, and even The Walking Dead have featured through many in-game events and are all available to purchase even still. Currently, there's a Street Fighter event taking place, which includes a special stage and game mode. It's not all about crossovers, though, as Brawlhalla is home to over 50 original characters, with many taking inspiration from history and pop culture. Now, there are only 12 weapons available across the board here, but each character uses them in their own individual ways with their own unique movesets. Every character actually gets two weapons along with their own unique movesets. This means that every hero's playstyle is different and trying them all out definitely gets addictive. Brawlhalla is also available on other consoles, so if you've heard great things about Smash but only own a PlayStation, then definitely check this one out. Did we mention that it's free? So there's no excuse. Fortnite. Do we really need to say much about this one? It's massive, we're sure you've heard of it, and it runs great on the Switch. We would also probably get hunted down if we didn't include it here, so there you go. Next up, we've got Rocket League. Now this one hasn't always been free to play, having been so for just over a year, despite being released in 2015. So we're sorry if you spent money on this one. We're pretty glad it did go free though, as we probably wouldn't have checked this one out otherwise. On paper, it's not really our sort of game. Soccer mixed with rocket powered cars doesn't exactly speak to us, but oh boy, is it fun. It just goes to show how far the reach on some of these free games are. In theory, this game sounds kind of terrible to me, but it was free so I had nothing to lose. And I agree with Tom, it is heaps of fun. Now it is important to note that all the footage you're seeing here was captured on a PC, courtesy of my little brother. Mainly because he's really damn good at it and can do tricks and all those kinds of cool things. But we promise you this game looks and runs absolutely fantastically on the Switch, especially for such fast paced action. Speaking of Tom's little brother, he plays this game religiously almost every night. So a game is definitely worth at least checking out with a recommendation like that. And especially if it's for free. This next one honestly blindsided me a little bit. I was downloading like 10 games at a time doing research for this video and I was like, eh, tanks. To be honest, I almost skipped out on it if it wasn't for my own sense of integrity telling me I had to try every game. Or at least every game that Laura wasn't going to try. And then boom, all of a sudden I'd been battling tanks for like four hours. World of Tanks Blitz is honestly a little clunky and hard to control and it's not going to win any awards for visual appeal either. So why is it on this list? Because it is so freaking addictive. Didn't your mum ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? Tanks has you controlling an old school armoured vehicle in a team deathmatch with other players from around the globe. That's pretty much all there is to it. Tanks shoot booms that make other tanks go boom, and then you unlock more powerful booms. World of Tanks is actually a PC game with Blitz being the portable version. You're arguably better off playing the OG, but you're here for free Switch games, not free PC games. Does mini clips still exist? Good question. Hopefully this video is the push you need to go check out Tank Splits for yourself. I know it was for us. There's a lot to be said for mindless tank battles, or maybe you're really into wartime history. In that case, definitely check this one out. Can you really talk about Nintendo without talking about Pokemon? We know that the Pokemon company is a separate entity, but the two are almost synonymous these days. 
Therefore, it would be rude to not include one, if not two, Pokemon games on this list. The first, and arguably the better of the two, is Pokemon Unite, a multiplayer online battle arena game, or a MOBA for short. Imagine a really simplified League of Legends, but with Pokemon stats. When this title was released earlier this year, we were convinced that it was the best free game on the Switch, and it actually helped inspire us to make this video. We were pretty obsessed with it, and we spent about two weeks playing nothing but this game. We even created our own little team with our friends from overseas. Now, upon release, Pokemon Unite did cop a little bit of flack. First and foremost, for being pay to win. Now, we haven't spent a single cent on it because it's free. And we win roughly 50% of our matches. Now, would that increase to 60% if we were to pay to fully level up our Pokemon? Possibly, but we prefer to work for our specs. Time is money after all, and if you sink enough time in, you can fully level up your Pokemon. You also can't pay for skills. They are always earned. This game is fun regardless of whether you win or lose. Sometimes we wish that people would stop taking games so seriously. The point is to have a good time, and scoring goals as some classic Pokemon is just that. A good time. Pokemon just does free games so well. And possibly the most adorable out of the lot of them is Pokemon Quest. Catching all of these cubular Lego-like Pokemon is so addictive, especially when you start delving into the surprisingly deep mechanics that are waiting for you in Pokemon Quest. Now, the battling isn't exactly the draw card here. It plays more like a puzzle game in the sense that you really have to find the perfect combination of Pokemon and moves in order to succeed especially when you're going up against some of the bosses in those later levels. In Pokemon Quest, there are these things called Power Stones, which can be used in conjunction with one another to apply certain boosts to whatever Pokemon you've assigned them to. These Power Stones can make all the difference in your team, and finding the perfect combination for each Pokemon is key. Once you have found the perfect stone combination for your Lego Mons, you can then train them up by feeding them other Pokemon that didn't quite make the cut. This sounds pretty dark, because it is, but it is a cruel and necessary task if you want to create that perfect team. It is also the only way to teach them new moves and things of that nature. There is an element of randomness here though, as there is no way of knowing what move your target Pokemon is going to learn. This is kind of annoying because you do have to sacrifice your beloved Pixel Pocket Monsters on the off chance that your Pokemon will hopefully learn anything other than Splash but your mind can be put at ease with the knowledge that they can always be replaced. Pokemon Quest also features large cooking pots, where you can cook little meals out of the berries you've found along the way. This is in the hope that they'll lure in another wild Pokemon. These are somewhat customizable. For example, if you use all red berries, you'll lure in red Pokemon. There is still an element of randomness to this though, so it's still like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. This one is definitely the more involved out of the two Pokemon games we've talked about today, but we spend hours playing Pokemon Quest without spending a single cent. And for that reason, we have to recommend it. Pokemon Quest is such a fun and addictive game. If you have ever wanted to play Splatoon Couch Co-op, but for one reason or another haven't been willing to fork out for two copies of a full price game, then Ninjala could be your calling. Like Splatoon, Ninjala doesn't have local multiplayer, but like all of the other games on this list, it is free, so all you need to gum up your Switch owning friends is a little extra space. The art style of Ninjala is no doubt reminiscent to Nintendo's own Splatoon, but once you've been playing this one for a while, you'll soon realise that it's full of its own unique qualities that really help make this its own original adventure. In Ninjala, you will go head to head with eight other somewhat familiar looking fighters in a tournament arena. Using magical ninja bubblegum, the World Ninja Association is looking for their next generation of ninja warriors and it is your job to take that title. You can play in a number of different arenas in either a free for all or a 4v4 team battle. Here you'll be able to wallop other players from around the world with bubblegum loaded batons or execute a number of special moves like creating bubblegum barriers or massive weapons from energy that is secured by destroying drones. 
Ninjala's online functionality works great and the game does an awesome job at making you feel like you're playing Splatoon for free while also creating enough points of difference to set itself apart from Nintendo's painty experience. We definitely recommend checking out Ninjala if you're looking for a fun little title to play on your Switch. If you like town builders, dungeon crawlers, Skyrim or all of the above, then you might also like Elder Scrolls Blades. This free to play dungeon crawler by Bethesda doesn't play exactly like the epic tale that is Skyrim, but it's still a very addictive game in its own right. Here you're able to fully customize your characters, forge weapons and equipment, and rebuild and decorate your town however you see fit. You do this by completing jobs in the form of dungeons in return for coins, materials, and supplies. I am an absolute sucker for both town builders and dungeon crawlers, so I was hooked by blades. Around your town, you can find heaps of jobs and side quests to complete for your townsfolk, like the Goblin Scourge and the Wizard's Tower, which help break up the dungeons with some light puzzle elements and allow you to find some more interesting decorations for your town. Both the battle system and the visuals are pretty simplistic, but there is a skill tree for both physical and magical abilities and a leveling system. This makes the game far more dynamic and, dare I say, more addictive. Elder Scrolls Blades does give off some pretty heavy mobile game vibes and it's littered with microtransactions, but these are all cosmetic or to purchase the in-game currency so they're entirely optional. You can easily spend hours playing this game without spending a single penny and have heaps of fun doing it. We wouldn't feel right creating a list of free games without including at least one MMORPG. Massive multiplayer online role-playing game. No wonder they shorten it. The Switch definitely isn't the first system that would come to mind when thinking of these genres though, as they are arguably better played on a more powerful system. Despite this though, the Switch does have some tasty offerings. Our pick, or rather my pick, is DC Universe Online. Now I say my pick because I'm definitely more heavily invested in the world of comic books than Laura is especially when it comes to the lore of Marvel and DC. I love superheroes. Honestly, this is probably the biggest draw card for this title, being able to become so immersed in the world of DC Comics. You will interact not only with players from around the world, but with all of the heroes and villains that exist within the lore. The character customization here is amazing. You can choose everything from looks, body types and costumes, through to superpowers and personalities. A few cool abilities are hidden behind paywalls, but there should be more than enough to choose from for free. Finally, you'll be able to choose whether you'll be a hero or a villain. I went with villain because I'm a menace. And I went with a hero because I'm not. DC Universe is over 10 years old now, so as you can imagine, it comes with all the gripes that come with an older title. It's not the prettiest thing in the world and it's not the most technical either, but the community is still alive and it's heaps of fun. We have definitely saved the best for last. Sky Children of the Light is a visually stunning and magical adventure that is so wonderfully fleshed out, it seems wrong that it's for free. The art styles and texture in this game are absolutely stunning as you skid down glittering sand dunes and duck in and out of the clouds. Sky truly transports you to another dimension and will provide you with the most beautiful escape from reality that you will find for free. This adventure sees you soaring to all of the distinct areas provided to you to release the nearby spirits from their limbo. Releasing them from these frozen states grants you access to new capes or hairstyles in exchange for candles, the in-game currency. While the titular Children of Light provide you with flying upgrades so you can explore more of the beautiful world. It also does online multiplayer in the most wonderful way. Upon making a new friend, you are provided with absolutely none of their personal information whatsoever and the ability to give them a name of your own choosing. You're then free to set off on your own adventure hand in hand. It's amazing how attached you get to these anonymous sprites we call friends, but it just adds to the beauty that is Sky. We could honestly do a whole new video on this title. It's the kind of free game that makes you actually want to buy the DLC 
just to support the devs. Please, if you haven't checked out Sky Children of the Light, then definitely do so. We hope you've found at least one game that has piqued your interest today, and we'd love to hear about what it is. So let us know in the comments below. And let us know if we've missed any of your favorite free games. It was so hard to narrow it down to just 10, and we were thinking that we might have to do a follow-up video. So again, let us know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitch, and all that other social media bull you'll find in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.